Let me welcome my special guest. He is WCTC's legal analyst, Edward Weinstein, who joins us here on New Jersey Today. Ed, good to see you again, man. Welcome back to WCTC. Good afternoon, Bert. Good to see you, and a uh, pleasure to be here as always. Good to have you back, man. I want to talk first of, uh, off the bat about the thing that's on everybody's mind. And that is this potential little piece of paper right here that could be worth a half a billion dollars. That blows my mind. Of course, we're talking about my ticket. Is this yours? (laughs) Now, I didn't sign mine, so it's not legally mine yet, right? (laughs) You can make that argument. Yeah, you you, you, you (laughs) apparently read the the fine writing (laughs) on the bottom there. Possession's nine tenths of the law. Even I know that. Well, that depends. Uh, Here we go. (laughs) Here we go. go. (laughs) Well, first, I'll. uh, Mega Millions. Let's talk about that. I'll tell you a funny story I read uh, on Huffington Post this morning because everybody's talking about this uh, half a billion dollars. Yeah. And uh, there, was a, there was a situation in Florida where these two people are not doing very well, bad recession. They're, they're living paycheck to paycheck, if that. You know, they're constantly being threatened that the lights are going to be shut off, electricity, all these problems. Mm-hmm. Trouble, you know, they're having trouble putting food on the table. And then mail comes to the house one day, and the wife opens the mail and congratulates her husband on his brand new house. New house. So she does a little, she starts rooting through his drawers and stuff. He won the lottery, never told her. You can't do that. So she filed a complaint with the state for her (laughs) cut of the lottery winnings. Sure. And then she filed for divorce. Oh. So that's going to take her, (laughs) is it, does she get half? According to the law there? Well, in New Jersey law, yeah. which is obviously my forte, in New Jersey, it would depend on the date of the filing of complaint for divorce. Now, okay. every state's different. In New Jersey, I win that lottery. Let's say things are terrible. We're separated. Yeah. I win the lottery. My wife won the lottery. Okay. That makes sense. But um, you're still legally married. Is that why? Well, in New Jersey, under the case law and the way they term it, the date the marriage died, quote unquote, okay, is when one of the two files for divorce. Then one week later, I win the lottery. My wife, she's still legally my wife, but we're in the divorce process. Yes. She's extremely unhappy, except for one thing. <laughs> Let's say I won a million bucks. Okay. She could successfully argue in court that if I invested that money, the case is called Miller. Lawyers call it Millerizing the money. Millerizing, okay. Would say, well, if he invests that money, $1 million at 5%, let's say, that's another $50,000 a year of income to him, Mm -hmm. and my alimony and or child support should be based on that. Okay. And she'd have a winner. Okay, that makes sense. So I'd write that check from my yacht in St. Bart's, but it would all work out. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but Ed, we're, we're talking about $500 million here. P- you know, people will do insane things for $500 million. Oh, well, I, I mean, of course, there's right? There's tons I mean, of stories. I forget the fella. I wanted to Google it before I came in. It was this guy in West Virginia. That, it was before there were reality shows. This guy was a walking reality <laughs> show. This guy, I forget how much he won, and he's got like a beard down to here, you know, t- typical West Virginia kind of guy, older guy with overalls. And he basically would drive around with nothing less than 100000 cash in his trunk at all times. Like that was his walking around money? Right. 100000 Okay. So he's going to gentlemen's clubs, <laughs> being polite with the term. Right. right? Goes for the buffet, of course. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Legs and eggs, right? And the money was gone within two years. Wow. All. I guess you see a lot of that. I hear a lot of stories about that where people get these big cash windfalls whether it's lotteries, inheritances, and before you know it, they're in worse shape than they were before. Because they don't, you, I mean, don't get me wrong, It's you, we can only imagine. Well, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll do better than that. Uh, you know, we'll, you'll be conferencing me in from Bermuda next time. No, no, seriously. So I get it. It's emotional. But it's just like anything in life, candidly, is the way I, I kind of look at the world is education and working and so forth. Okay, that that education enhances your earning capacity, but school doesn't do a whole lot about what to do with your money when you make it. That's true. You have to educate yourself. So I'm if I, if I'm the lottery winner, it's easy. I'm calling a lawyer. 
That should be I'm the calling first an thing. First, right. first, first phone calls before I even make it. Before I, other than confirming that's me, right? Like I'm not. I, yeah. I can read these numbers, and, you know, with my eyes swirling in my head. You'd read it a, a thousand times exactly. to make sure you you had the right ticket, right? And then I would line up all these professionals to make sure, tax wise, I did the right thing. Mm-hmm. Financially planning that I did the right thing. Some things you want to be conservative. Government bonds. Yeah, I might be willing to take uh, you know uh, twenty million of that <laughs> on a high risk, and you know I'm uh, you know throwing the dice and see and what see happens. What right. happens? Right when you have that kind of money, of course. But unfortunately, again, a lot of people they just end up. Hey, well, you see with celebrities, you see with athletes. Yeah. Um, just Dennis Rodman was on the news this week. He's in the whole Allen. I mean, guys who Allen Iverson, right? Right, Allen Iverson. Him. He made 160 million dollars in his career. Right, completely broke, busted now. Right, he's yeah. being sued right now by a jewelry store for 800 thousand dollars of jewelry he didn't pay for. Wow, jewelry. Yeah. So that's a pretty good example of taking a windfall, and you end up, as you put it, worse off than you were. You see it before yeah. you got it. So it's unfortunate, but uh, so yeah, if you're playing the lottery, you have till Friday to file for divorce. I'm only kidding. I'm <laughs> Wait kidding. A minute now. I'm right. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm going to get hate mail. I'm kidding. Obviously, stay but- married and happy and spend it together. <laughs> hey, because exactly with this kind of money, your family could literally be wealthy for generations and generations if you did it the right way. Right? Oh, you do the oh that kind of money. Yeah, your great 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 grandchildren wouldn't have to work. Exactly. But you got to do it the right way. So the first person I should notify is my wife, obviously. Hey, we won the lottery. Yes. First thing I should say. Yes. And then a lawyer, a good lawyer, and a good accountant. Right on. Okay. Financial plan. I think philanthropy would be my deal. I'd, I'd take care of charities. I'd play in golf charities my whole life. I'd be on committees. I'd be on boards. And Same I would just here. give out money. Why not? Same here, brother. Right? We were all the same way. We'd have some fun, exactly. but... Uh, <laughs> exactly. Right, right. They're, they're, uh, half a million dollars. This is something my dad told me once. It's really great. If you and I, Bert, sat here and started counting one million seconds, yeah. we'd be here for 13 days. <laughs> wow. One million seconds. Okay. If you and I started counting one billion seconds, pretty sure I've got it right, we'd be here for 38 years. Right. That's the difference between a million and a billion. A thousand millions is a billion. So right. you have to do the math. Because we right. watch the news, you hear millions and trillions and billions. We, you know, it becomes numbing to our brains. So when we're talking about half a billion dollars, that's yeah. a lot of seconds. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to sign my ticket. I'm going to, the first thing I should do. Would you, would okay. you recommend I sign the ticket? Yes. I'll, I'll sign it with you. As my, you bring your little stamp with you? Or? I'm a witness. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What if I misspelled my name? Can someone challenge it? What if I? What if nah. you know? Can some other Burt Baron say, "Hey, he stole my ticket"? No, you're a winner. <laughs> right. we'll, right. we'll discuss it over Peter Luger's on you, and I'll tell yes, you how. Will. <laughs> I'll tell you how I'm going to help you spend that money. <laughs> Beautiful. The drawing again, of course, is not. Everybody's talking about it tomorrow night at nine or eleven o'clock tomorrow night. Yeah, the Friday drawing. night, right? Man, oh man! And this has got like it's it's fever. Everybody's got it. Everybody's talking. Everybody's got it spent it's all already, over right? Facebook. Everybody's going office pools and, yeah, and, and, and that's and another that's thing. Whole other, right? Then you know some guy, we, the guy who went to the Seven Eleven <laughs> said, uh, what, "What office pool? I was in a pool. That's my dollar." <laughs> right, right. Keep working, everybody. They say, and I, I've even heard about this, and this applies to what you do. You know, you hear you hear about prenups. You hear about premarital agreements. They say, you know what? In this case. You better get a pre-winning agreement with, with some, no, serious, <laughs> yeah, with people. Yeah. You know what? Say, well, if you're going to have a lottery pool, well, how often do you play the pool? Uh, are you in this? How much have you invested in the years of playing the lottery pool? Get that all hashed out like now because after 11 o'clock Friday night, you don't want to have to deal with that. So That, that is accurate. Man. And also, um, and this this goes for lots of people, but uh, you know, I deal with it all the time. People make agreements when they're married. Then the divorce occurs, and he or she says to me, "Oh, they promised me X, Y, and Z." Oh, I yeah. say, "Well, they've got a bad case of selective memory." <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't have it in writing, but but yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good to talk to you, a WCTC legal analyst, Edward Weinstein. Thanks for the time, and we'll talk again soon, my friend. Thank you.